In today's episode, I'm doing something I haven't done in a very long time. We're going someplace warm, we are hitting the beaches, we are eating good food, and we are drinking good drinks. That's right, we're getting on a plane. Travel is back, and I'm going to be taking you with me. So as you might have guessed, the big thing is travel and get on an aeroplane. Something I've not done for such a long time. The last time I got on an aeroplane was in January 2020. It seems like a lifetime ago. So we got a train from Edinburgh all the way through to Glasgow, which is where we got our flight. Um, and we got the flight from there down to Faro in Portugal. Spoiler alert, that's where we are, we're in Portugal. We've come on a summer vacation, summer holiday, and I'm so excited about it. I didn't really feel much on the plane, but I can tell you what, I was like electric with excitement. Um, having not travelled on a plane for so long, and it's just so good to be here. We're going to be here in Portugal for a few days. We're staying in a, a kind of like B&B &B type situation place, which is quite nice, it's not bad. And we've arrived now at like 4pm, and to be honest, we're just going to go straight to the beach. We've got this tiny little cute balcony here as well. I mean... It doesn't necessarily have like a great view or anything. It's nice. And you know, after a year and a half, and it's not just really about traveling I'm talking about, I'm just generally talking about having time off as a holiday from work. I've not really had that for a year and a half. I've not had a proper holiday in that whole time. I've just been working a lot. And so that's what I'm most looking forward to. I reached the point of burnout over the last month. I always like taking you guys with me on my trips, wherever it is, you know, whether I'm traveling to Portugal, whatever else in the world, or, you know, even if I'm at home. And I feel so privileged and lucky that we have got this opportunity to do this. Because I know in some places in the world you can't actually travel at the moment. Um, but we have been through that here in, well, in the UK as well. We had a lot of time periods where we could not travel anywhere. So now that we can finally do so, it feels good. It feels really good. Going for our first walks in and around the town, into the town of Lagos. And I get some neat for lunch. There's gonna be a lot of eating involved in this trip because Portugal just makes such amazing food. So we're we're pretty much at home here. I love it. I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, PaySend. Have you ever been frustrated while trying to use your money abroad? The process is often complex and expensive. Introducing PaySend, a money transfer solution which is fast, affordable, and easy to use. PaySend is an app-based service and can be downloaded on the link provided in the description below this video, which provides you with a multi-currency money transfer solution and global account in the palm of your hand. PaySend has fixed fees, which are shown to users before making any transactions. All transfers have bank level security and PaySend also has a global coverage to over 90 countries with new ones being added all the time. Transactions are processed instantly and are hassle-free and they're already trusted by over 3 million customers. So if you're thinking about starting up your travels again and will be using your money overseas, you can take advantage of my special discount offer of fee-free transfers and special exchange rates. Simply click on the link in my video description below to get started. One of the must-try food experiences in Portugal is their padarias, or bakeries. Having experienced many different padarias, they all sell similar baked goods. All of them sell sweets 
and the common theme is they all use copious amounts of eggs in their products. The outcome is delicious, and I urge you to try a padaria when you go to Portugal. We found a nice wee quiet square here, close to the water, and we're going to eat our bakery stuff. Because that bakery didn't have any seats, which is a bit unusual for Portuguese bakeries, but... Let's see what we've got. No? His oil is pastel. His oil is camarão. Pastel or prawns. You get them in Brazil quite a lot, so it's not like any surprise to me, but... It's always good to try the different places. Hmm. It's nice. Apparently the house speciality, which is a bologna hose, which is technically speaking, translated a rice cake. I'm not sure if there's any rice in that. Let's see. Hmm. Might be made of rice, but it just seems like sponge cake. You've probably heard of pastel ginata, which is like a Portuguese classic little tart thing. Well, this place has their own special version, which is. Pastel Jamendoas, which is like nuts or something. Give it a try. Tastes a bit like sweet peanut butter. A wee bit. And then finally, I think the level at which every Portuguese bakery needs to be judged is Pastel de Nata, which is a Portuguese classic. Caram um, not caramel. Custard tart. I mean, these are good everywhere you go in Portugal, so I'm not going to be. There's not going to be any surprises here. Mmm. Nice layer of custard in the middle. Very sweet. Delicious. So basically in the city centre and there's another really awesome beach, this town Lagos and actually everywhere in the Algarve has so many, many amazing beaches like this one. That's what it's famous for. And we're kind of just scoping them out at the moment so we're walking to as many different beaches as we can and seeing if we find a favourite and then we'll come back to it later. That's the plan. On this occasion it seems like travelling for the very first time has taken its toll so we decide to take the day easy by observing the beach and drinking some cocktails and having an arrest. One thing we were urged to do by friends who know Lagos well is try the famous Cataplana dish and specifically at a place called Casinha do Petisco. There was a three hour wait at the door, I'm not even kidding, but we were urged to wait. Cataplana is actually the name of the cookware used to make the dish. Think stroganoff, but with seafood. The stew mixture includes a delightful, creamy sauce, which is filled with pork and a variety of local seafoods. Was it worth the wait? Absolutely. Good morning from Portugal. It is another absolutely stunningly, sensationally 
sunny and hot day here in Algarve and we are of course taking the first opportunity to head to the beach because we're only about a 10 minute walk here from one of the beaches or a beach that was named as the best beach in the world in some kind of travel guide at some point over the last few years which is quite impressive it's only a five minute walk or so from where we're staying maybe 10 minutes in the heat it's about 27 28 degrees celsius today so it is pretty warm but um this beach we're going to is called donna anna and like i said apparently it was named the best beach in the world at some point so let's go and check out algarve is known and the reason most people come here is actually for the beaches of course because they have got so many good ones anyway let's go and see how it is Right there is Praia Dona Ana. Not bad, eh? Could be worse. Let's face it, it could be much worse. The Algarve is famous for its beaches, and in truth, it's difficult to choose a favourite. There are so many amazing beaches in the region. Pick one and go for a tan or swim, and you'll most likely not be disappointed. Admittedly, some are more difficult to get to than others, and this is where your choices might become easier. To finish our trip, we met up with some friends and had some local seafood overlooking the ocean. One interesting thing to note, even in the summer, it gets pretty chilly at night, so take some warm clothes. That's more of a mental note for myself for next time. Portugal has my heart, and I imagine I'll be returning many times in future to watch the sunset, to drink good drinks, to eat good food. It's a place that I admire, and the people have a lifestyle that I aspire towards. If you've never been to Portugal before, do. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more adventures coming up really soon.